Yo, what's up guys, Lord Sandler here, and in today's video, I want to give my opinion on the armor enchants and how they rank compared to one another. So we're going to be doing a tier list, and you may not agree with me, but this is my opinion. Overall, I think that armor enchants are really weak, and considering the fact that you cannot smelt them, um, the tiny effects that they do have are normally just not worth having at all. It's normally better just to have a high HP piece of gear, and I feel like the developers should definitely rework some of these enchants. Alright, so first we have the Viscosity enchant. So, Viscosity is somewhat situational. It doesn't actually have any net positive effect. It just makes the damage that you take apply over time instead of instantly. So this can buy you time if you get bursted down to heal with potions or fishmen. So if you have those, then it can be a solid B. But if you don't, then it's pretty useless. I'm gonna put it in B tier because most people do have ways to heal, which can make this somewhat useful in a fight. Next we have Entanglement. Entanglement used to be OP and used to be the best armor enchant in the game, but this got pretty much gutted. Well, I wouldn't say gutted, but it got nerfed heavily. It went from 50% damage reduction when it procs to 10%, so that's a 80% decrease if you look at it from proportion. 10% um, damage decrease is still like decent, decent enough that it's actually like worthwhile to use. Like if you have 500 HP, that's an extra 50 HP, assuming that it hits on it, that it procs on every single hit. So for that reason I'm gonna put it on A tier, because it's better than most of the enchants. Next we have a Lure enchant, and this charms people when it procs, and I'm gonna say this is an S tier. It allows you to proc Encore pretty reliably if you have Charisma and Sing, and the Charisma talents like Dazing Finisher, that's one that I personally have, and I find that when my enemies hit me and they proc the charm, I'm actually able to combo them and get like 5 or 6 hits off just because of that one talent. So this has a lot of synergy if you do have charisma, but if you don't then this is not good at all, it does nothing for you. So S tier with charisma, throw in the void if not, but well, you don't want to throw these in the void because it has quite a lot of trade value anyway. Next we have adhesive and oh man, adhesive enchant, this is like Oh, this is horrible, man. Throw the shit in the void. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat, I'm not gonna lie about it. This enchant is literally not- it's not even useful. It's not useless. It's literally harmful to you. Like, putting this on will literally harm your character. Not only, not only are you sacrificing the ability to smelt by using an enchant, so it's most likely gonna be on gear with bad stats, but this enchant actually harms you. Basically what it does is when it procs, it has a chance to pull your enemy into you, and that can let them get off free hits. There's like no reason to actually use this enchant, except for the fact that it looks really drippy. Next we have Bounce, and Bounce is like the opposite of Adhesive, and it's somewhat good at what it does. When it does proc, it pushes your enemy away, so it stops you from having to actually scared parry and tank your hits. So in many situations, using the Bounce enchant can actually save you from getting hits, and for that reason it's going to be in B tier. It's useful when it procs, but it doesn't proc that often. Next we have Multiplicity. The original Multiplicity used to summon a clone of your enemy when they hit you, and it would attack them, and that would, if that's still in the game, then that would be an S tier, but that got removed, and it's replaced with a new effect. The new effect of Multiplicity actually gives you uh, hunger and first back when, when it procs, and that may sound like a useless, a useless thing, but let's say you're fighting in the water, this is what you need. Like, you literally cannot die in the water if you have this and Fishman. You can literally just boss raid. And for that reason alone, I'm going to put it in A tier, because the main <laughs> the main problem with water fights is that you lose hunger and thirst really quickly, and that solves that problem. Okay, next we have the displacement enchant, and this is also just a useless enchant. It's not it's not like harmful in the way that adhesive is, but it's still useless. So I'm going to put it here. Adi uh, so displacement basically just tell is meant to teleport you around your opponent when you get hits, but it doesn't do that. It literally just teleports you in place. So it does nothing. It literally does nothing. This enchant is useless. It does nothing. If you have this, I'm sorry for you. Uh, stench. So stench actually just applies 2% damage to your opponent when it does actually proc. And while that sounds okay, it's just free damage, right? The stats that you're sacrificing by using an enchant gear is not often good enough to, do, to be worth 2% damage. It doesn't even proc that often. At most, you're gonna do like 6% of someone's HP of this enchant. Uh, it's not that good. I kinda wanna put it in C, but I can see an argument for B as well, so I'm gonna put it in B tier. Now, last we have the Drowned enchant. Drowned, I think what it does is it actually, um, 
increases one of the stats on the armor and decreases one of the stats on the armor. So you can get like negative posture or something like that. And you can get like 50 HP if you're really lucky. So if you're really lucky, this can be S tier because you can get a really good stat roll, like 60 HP. If you're unlucky, then it can actually be worse for your gear. So this is really just situational. Most of the time it's going to be trash though, so put it in C. A lot of people think that Drowned gives you double damage in the depths or makes you swim faster. No, it does not do that. Do not fall for people who say stuff like that. It does not have anything like that. The only trade value of Drowned is the stats of the armor. It does nothing else apart from having modified stats. And that is my Deep Woken armor tier list. And I hope you of you can learn something from this video, and if you disagree with me, then please let me know in the comments why. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.